Hello all, welcome to Bike Wale. We are here in Pune with India's most affordable 125cc motorcycle, the Bajaj CT125X. Now Bajaj has used the tagline Har Sadak Pe Kadak for the CT125 and targeted it towards buyers looking for utility, durability and have to commute long distance throughout the day. But what we are here to find out is does the CT125 live up to its uh, tagline and has what it takes to be a reliable commuter and go against names like the Hero Super Splendor and the Honda Shine? Or has the quest of low asking price affected the overall package and makes CT naram rather than kadak? But before we proceed ahead, don't forget to do three things. Like, share and subscribe to Bike Wale. Now the CT's design looks quite simple, practical and rugged too. It gets a bulb headlight with an LED DRL above and a couple of metal grills for added protection. Even the gated forks and the belly pan contribute to the rough look and we aren't complaining. For added convenience, Bajaj has also offered a small luggage rack at the rear and its claim capacity is about 5 kilos. That said, it looks quite sturdy and firm, so adding a kilo or two over the weight limit shouldn't really be a problem. Then you have these blacked out parts with the green body color that make for a good contrasting theme on the CT125X. The ripped seat cover also adds to the aesthetics and practicality by providing adequate grip. Now some of the most important or I rather say deciding factors for a commuter motorcycle are its overall comfort and the ergonomics. As you can see here, um, the CT's uh, rider triangle is quite relaxed. The handlebar is placed towards the rider, the foot pegs are mounted centrally and uh, these do not fall with your shin even when you have to move the bike in traffic. Um, for reference, I am 5'10", the seat is uh, adequately placed, it doesn't feel too tall enough which uh, lets me flat foot very easily. Furthermore. It's flat and spacious for both the rider and the pillion. Overall, the seat doesn't feel too cramped for uh, how compact it looks and even riders taller than me can ride it very easily. Overall, the seat feels quite easy to move around even when you consider its curb weight of 131.5 kilos, which is about 6 to 7 kilos more than the rivals. As you can see here, it's quite easy to move around even when you are in a tight parking spot or even when you have to put it on the main stand, the CT feels quite light. Now speaking of the overall build quality, the CT125X comes off as a very well packaged motorcycle for its segments. The overall uh, panel gaps are quite consistent apart from some places like the headlight cowl, the paint finish, the weld quality, the switch gear quality and uh, everything else, the plastic quality comes off as quite decent. Considering its purpose and pricing, the CT125X packs a pretty basic set of features. Apart from the LED DRL, it only gets a USB charging port and an engine cutoff sensor. Even for its console, the CT gets dual analog ports with all the run-of-the-mill data like your speedometer, odometer, fuel level readout and a neutral indicator. All of it is laid out quite well and the consoles are very easy to read even when you are on the move. Now coming towards the spec sheet of the CT125X, it's powered by a 124cc single cylinder air-cooled motor with the output rated at about 11 bhp and 11 Nm. Now mind you, this is not the Pulsar 125's engine and neither is it an outboard version of the CT110X. Rather, Bajaj claims that it uses the Platina 125's motor which is only sold overseas for the CT125X which is sold here. The CT125X accelerates in a very linear fashion and it builds up the revs gradually. The torque spread is also quite even through the rev range and the motor feels decently tractable even when you ride it in a gear higher at low speeds. Overall, the throttle too feels decently responsive to the input. Our test bike was a top variant which means it was equipped with a front disc and a rear drum. Now the front brake has adequate bite and the lever progression is also nice but the rear could do better with a tad more bite. Now being a commuter means the CT's gearbox will see constant shifts throughout the cogs. And that's what we did during our ride today. While the upshifts are borderline smooth, the downshifts are a tad rough. Moreover, the second and third gears specifically are a bit tricky to engage. So you'll need a little extra effort there. 
With a fairly tractable engine, a flat torque curve delivery throughout the range and definitive acceleration, the bike rides comfortably at city speeds of 0 to 40 km per hour in 3rd and 4th gear. And for flowing traffic, we found that the CT was smoother to ride in either the 2nd or the 3rd gear as the 1st gear is quite short and you'll come across minor jerks. On the highway, the city feels home at about 70 to 75 kmph, post which the vibrations creep in from the handlebar as well as the foot pegs. That said, it isn't very intense and doesn't affect your overall riding experience. Now, Bajaj claims the top speed of about 97 kmph for the CT, but during our test, we could only manage to clock about 85 to 90 kmph. At the aforementioned speed, the engine's rugged character is even more evident. So Bajaj has introduced a new square tube chassis for the CT125X and its purpose is to enhance the robustness of the bike and make the overall handling quite engaging. And during our ride we found that the bike would tip and turn into the corners fairly easily and respond to the overall inputs well enough. Even with such a light structure, the CT feels quite stable on the highways too. The CT is oriented towards buyers looking for daily long distance commutes. Now this can be over good or bad roads which would need a supple ride quality. However, the CT's rear suspension feels a bit stiff when ridden over undulated patches and sends minor jolts to your back. But if you have a pillion or some sort of weight added at the rear, we feel the rear springs would respond a bit differently and the ride would be a tad softer. Now we've talked about the engine, we've talked about the overall build quality, we've talked about the comfort. Let's hear what the CT125X sounds like. What do you think of the exhaust note of the CT125X? Let us know in the comments below. So Bajaj offers the CT125X in two variants and three colors for each. What you see here is the green and black color with the disc brake priced at Rs 74,554 X showroom Delhi. While the stiff rear suspension and the clunky gearbox are two minuses in our books, the CT's overall package feels quite balanced. It gets a solid build, decent engine performance, comfortable rider triangle, spacious seat, good handling and on-par features. So it's right there against rivals like the Hero Super Splendor and the Honda Shine which cost about Rs 81,000 X showroom Delhi. Moreover, the CT costs less while offering similar practicality and overall usability. So these are our first ride impressions of the all-new Bajaj CT125X. But if you want to know more, like its highway performance, the city riding and most importantly the mileage, we recommend you stay tuned to Bike Wale for a road test review of the CT125X.